Hey yo, it's Brian here today. Gonna be talking about the San Francisco 49ers as always doing another top three video. This time talking about the running back crew that we have for this team, giving three reasons why I love this backfield for the 49ers. They have a lot of good things going on for them for 2019. Last year they did a really good job barring any injuries when healthy. They were amazing, especially Matt Breida. He definitely showed up and showed out in 2018. Hopefully he can have some more touches for the football this year although it's gonna be a little bit difficult since we got Tevin Coleman now on this team this is definitely a running back by committee but the question is who is gonna get the majority of the carries and all indications looking like Tevin Coleman's gonna be the man for the backfield which is reasonable because Coleman he's a great running back himself also Kyle Shanahan as I keep saying they have history together very good history I should say for both of them there's big reasons why he might be the top man for all the carries the majority of the carries for the Niners this year so yeah gonna be talking about that talking about why I love this crew whether it's talent or anything like that just anything that makes this running back crew amazing and that's going to help Garoppolo big time for the 2019 season about to get the video started but before I do please like and subscribe to support my channel that would definitely help me out a lot click that bell notification to get notified of future videos share this channel share this video with fellow Niner faithfuls let's just get this started the top three reasons why I love the running back crew for the 49ers number three taking pressure off of Garoppolo. This is very important because Garoppolo himself, he has a lot of pressure coming in to the 49ers 2019 season. He didn't play at all in 2018. Well, he played three games, but you guys know what I mean. He was out pretty much the whole season last year due to a torn ACL. This year, he really has to show up and show out and have a reason why we gave him that much money. Five years, $137 million contract. Although, there's an opt-out clause. I think after this year, if he does really bad or something like that, that's a good insurance policy for the 49ers, just like Kawan and D Ford. If the 49ers don't like him for some reason they can just cut bait with him or anything like that and they won't have to deal with a lot of dead cap money for the 2020 season hopefully Garoppolo he has a lot of incentive to play this year in 2019 awesome having a running back crew that definitely helps him out a lot especially a guy coming off an injury as I mentioned before it's gonna not put a lot of pressure on him he doesn't have to throw the ball like crazy he has a lot of guys to go to the list of guys I can go right now Tevin Coleman Matt Breida Jared McKinnon Rory Moster and Kyle Juszczyk. Those guys, I mean, they have a lot of skill set together. A lot of them can run the ball really well. Like Moster, he averaged about six or seven yards per carry. That's amazing. Like, there's a lot of guys that he can go to for the running back crew. Also, they can catch the ball out of the backfield. So, that's very essential for Garoppolo. He doesn't have to throw the ball all the time. He can give it to his running backs and they will do the work for him. That's why I like about this crew. Garoppolo, although a lot of pressure for himself this year in 2019, being able to have a good running game, that's going to definitely help him out, especially coming back from an injury that he got last year in 2018. Number two, the talent of our running backs. As I mentioned just now with the five guys that we have for this whole roster, everyone just looks amazing for the most part. I mean, you look at 2018, you look at the guys that we had, the way they were able to perform despite the fact that the injury bug was really bad for the Niners. I thought they did a fantastic job. Kyle Juszczyk, he's always the most reliable fullback you can have. I'll consider him as a running back. Mostert, he was awesome being able to pound the ball inside and just run for lots and lots of yards before getting hurt against the Raiders. Matt Breida, he was awesome for the 49ers. He was pretty much our MVP for both Beathard and Mullins. He made 49er football watchable. That's great right there. McKinnon, we don't know what he's capable of yet for the 49ers. He was capable in Minnesota as a top two or three running back. He wasn't the top guy in Minnesota, but you know the skill set that he offered with catching the ball in the backfield and running the ball as a little man, that's really beneficial. Tevin Coleman, his experience in the NFL, he probably has the most experience out of all these guys, minus use check for the running back position. So all these guys, they offer something great for Garoppolo in the offense. You got guys that can run the ball, pound the ball. You got guys that can catch the ball out of the backfield that can just do a lot of good stuff. Coleman could probably line up on the receiver position. That's a great diversity to have so the ability to have multiple skill sets not just running the ball I think that's a really good beneficial thing for the 49ers and they will definitely see that for this year in 2019 a lot of defenses had prepared for both Garoppolo and the running game along with our receiving course there's a lot of things Kyle Shanahan can attack with and he has an immense amount of talent this year for 2019 hopefully there's no excuses but you never know I'm going to be sticking with this running back crew they're going to be amazing for 2019 Coming in, the number one as the reason why I love the 49ers running back crew for 2019 is all the bodies that we have. What I mean by that is if the injury bug for some reason comes back to this team in 2019, haunts them like they did for the past couple of years, that we have a lot of bodies that we can rely on if somebody goes out. Hopefully that doesn't happen, but it is the NFL. Injuries do happen. Sports, just anything in general, you know, injuries are just unavoidable. We do have to 
deal with that. But as Kyle Shanahan said, the depth is really amazing for almost every position for the Niners. So this is really beneficial for the running back crew. Let's say something happens to Coleman. Hopefully nothing happens to him. But if something happened to him, then we have other guys that can step up like Brita, which he already did in 2018. But he can step it up even more by being the workhorse guy for the majority of the running back by committee. Or you can have Jeremy McKinnon be taking over his spot as a full-timer because they both have similar skill set in the fact that they can you know do everything as a one-two guy. So that's amazing right there. Mostert, you know, he plays special teams and running back. He can be a workhorse guy like all of them. They can all be number one running backs, probably for another team. But for the 49ers to have all this talent in the running back position, that just shows how talented and what the potential of this offense can be for this whole season. I'm really excited to see what they can do. I think you are as well. This is probably the most interesting position to look forward to during training camp in the preseason slash regular season. I'm ready and hopefully you guys are as well. That's it, guys. Please let me know what your reasons why you love the running back crew. Please, I'd like to hear what you guys have to say in the comments below. If you guys like this, please like and subscribe to support my channel. That would definitely help me out a lot. I'll be catching you guys up tomorrow on Thursday for news. Hopefully, there's some big news. I'll try my best to find some interesting stuff for you guys. I'll see y'all then. Bye, guys. Love y'all. Y'all have a good rest of your day. Go Niners all day, every day.